Oh. I'm known as one of the biggest martial arts critics, and I'll be honest, I was skeptical about Filipino martial arts as mostly what I saw were sticks being clapped in midair. But instead of judging something I've never tried, when I met Johan Skalberg, a world-class Filipino martial arts master who's also a champion at full contact stick fighting, I just had to ask him to show me how Filipino stick fighting really works to see if maybe I was wrong. I'm gonna start to teach you something really stupid. This is gonna look like a patty cake in the schoolyard, okay. but it's a lot more than that. We're yeah. gonna do like a forearm here, we're gonna be a low strike, and we're gonna okay. do a high strike like to slap to the face. But we're just gonna go high, low, Two. and high. Like, let me do left hand, high. One low Two. and high. Uh, and this feels like you're actually doing nothing. You don't really feel like you're Jason Bourne or uh, right, right. anybody else in the action scene there. But this is a pattern. But if you just put it in a different setting now, because right. traditionally in Filipino martial arts, we begin with the weapons, take a thumb up and they hold like a regular grip. So don't know thumbs up here, because if you get the smack there, it's going to be very painful. Okay. So stay a little bit like this now. Mm -hmm. Also again, stupid. Right. <laughs> and if you do the same here, there and there, and then yeah. we do the hands. Oh, one. Two, two and three. three. Now three. is only coordination three. because we don't have a fighting stance, we don't have the balance, and we don't have any energy mm -hmm. because we right. cooperate. Mm -hmm. It's not like you attacking me and I defending. Right. If we start to put ourselves a little bit more in the fighting stance, mm -hmm. because now we start to bridge the distance here and we start to do this. Now I want you to have a focus that this strike is the head, but we practice it here. Mm -hmm. So now we can have a little energy. The okay. second strike is on the knee. Mm -hmm. So now we can have a little contact with the sticks there. And mm -hmm. the third strike is to the head. Okay. So even though we're smacking the sticks, right. but I'm thinking that's mm -hmm. your head, that's your knee, that's your head mm -hmm. with the backhand. Don't have to go hard now, but uh, <laughs> that's the idea. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. head, knee, and Oops. head. Forehand, low backhand, high backhand. Mm -hmm. Still not very dynamic because we are just putting ourselves in a fighting stance. Mm -hmm. But if we start to move a little bit, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit more dynamic. So now it's still not fighting, but we are at least mm -hmm. moving. And now we can start to play with the power. Okay. I got the chance to smack a little okay. bit. Sure. And of course, you have to be a little bit careful who's in front of you. Normally, you have a little bit longer build up. You get the short right. version now. Yeah. But you feel that now we're actually hitting something. Sometimes we have a little bit of timing. Oh, oh, oh. And you, of course, want to be with the stick there, otherwise it's right. in your face. Just by moving a little bit, start to be a little bit more challenging. We're not fighting, we're not really sparring, but it feels like we're going a little bit closer to mm -hmm. some kind of fighting. And you can push me. Right. So you're moving forward. It's okay, I, I just want to keep mm -hmm. my distance. Or I'm pushing a little bit and <laughs> you have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Could be an umbrella. Now you need to do more pointy mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. If it's a baseball bat, you need to be bigger swings. But the prince principle could still be applied from this setting. If mm -hmm. I have a stick or if you have a stick, you try to keep people away. Whatever, boxing, kickboxing, yeah, I'm dangerous, about mm -hmm. a meter, I'm about a meter, but here I can keep you off here. I don't need to load up to be dangerous over there. So that would be mm -hmm. like one, two, three meter. You can actually keep people away without loading up. If mm -hmm. you do boxing, I need to monitor and re recharge. Mm -hmm. It right. takes longer time. So if you have something in your hands, mm -hmm. you understand distancing. And so distancing is super important. While doing this silly or mm -hmm. fairly easy exercise, I'm learning about distancing. Out of this perspective, I want to keep you away. On the self-defense perspective, I want to bridge the gap or mm -hmm. run away. Either or, because mm -hmm. you don't want to be in the swing here. People joke about, yeah, I'm always running away. But mm -hmm. everybody is not the fastest runner. If you have the right shoes and if you're fast and you expect yourself to be faster than the other guy, run away is a good choice. If you're out with your wife and you have a small trolley, running away is not an option. It's easy to say, but depending on situation and when it's valid or not. So next up, we just try to bridge the gap a little bit. We go a little bit in exercise mode. One, two, three, and now we're just gonna hit palm to palm. And that's, okay. of course, practically, that will mm. be here. But now we're just working long range, a little bit shorter. You can push. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> Long range <laughs> and a little bit shorter. So now we're learning. Right. If I'm here, there's no mm -hmm. punching. And mm -hmm. again, I we're not thinking in my head, oh, you have a big stick, I will punch you. It's not going to be right. it. But if we do the exercise here and I happen to be here, now right. I can punch. Mm -hmm. Or if you run into me and I can't get away, oops, mm -hmm. and I can punch. So I need to learn when mm -hmm. this one is more functional. Oops, doesn't work. Okay, now I need to use that mm -hmm. one. So there's a distance where the stick is actually not as efficient anymore. Close mm -hmm. up, it's harder. Of course, we, have, we, we can use the back side right. 
close range. Mm -hmm. But if we are kind of equal, nobody can really use a stick for a moment. Yes, you can get through that and do other stuff. Or I can try to monitor and take an advantage. But mm. if there's just a moment and we're both struggling, yes, I can right. throw mm -hmm. something else. So we want everything to mm -hmm. be available. And then we can also add kicks and stuff. Now we play a little game. So mm -hmm. instead of just clapping the hands, try to punch just here. So right now we let each other reach the target. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and, and I'm right. just going to be there. I let you do it now. So I'm just staying here and you do that. So I keep this one here, so don't bring it down because okay. I might want to do mm -hmm. a follow up. You want to do the third strike, so I'm already breaching the gap, so I can punch from there. If I'm here okay. and now I yeah, get that's... in, it's going to be too long. But again, I'm not thinking, oh, he's got a stick, I'm going to punch him in the face. No, right, right. but if we clash together, I might need it. Sometimes we're just going to pop it a little bit, mm. so I have time to do that one. But if I'm not doing that, you can just block it. Mm. Try to make it hard for you to block by mm. pop it and mm. hit. We're doing the punch, we're doing the stick, we're gonna mm -hmm. add a kick now. <laughs> really, really important. If we are here, I would never ever start trying to sure. reach you here because the first thing I would do is like, oh, thank you, and you right. smack that leg. But again, if we happen to kind of be even here, or I clash up a little bit, mm -hmm. locked up, yeah, I can shoot that one. Mm -hmm. so it's also an exercise to be able to throw everything together because normally when people put this in the hand, you start mm -hmm. to forget everything you know. So now we do them all. We're gonna mm -hmm. do one, two, three, punch, stick, and kick. Oh, yeah. you ready, you go. Sure. Punch, stick, stick kick. kick. So now we do one time each. <laughs> I pushed a little bit now. I'm learning how to run you over. But yeah. you also start to feel a little bit where you're at, being run over. Or when you just make a little mistake, so you didn't really feel that you were delivering the combination. That's how we learn. And the more we start to move, the trickier it will be. If I'm staying out here, you can oh, forget about the entire combination. Yeah, but yeah. as soon as I'm, oh, okay, I'm, I'm clashing in, right. do it. Punch the kick. Because I was kind of pushing mm -hmm. you. One of the things I really liked is that there's a sense of pressure. If we're here, then I'm just like, ha, I'm the best. But then once you start adding pressure, I have to learn to deal with it. And we can be here all day long. And if you spend another week, it doesn't like add anything. But as soon as add yeah. a little footwork, a little bit more mm -hmm. striking pa power, or maybe change it up a little bit, mm -hmm. it starts to be more dynamic yeah. and you get more experience by it. Right. We're good with the bad news. All techniques can be countered. That's the bad and news. The good news. Every counter has a counter. Yes. Two, so I deflect with my deflect. forearm, make sure I keep block. my block here and I'll try to just be ready to mm -hmm. move again. Mm -hmm. One time each. Sure, okay. Ready. That's it. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just stressing okay. a little bit now. Sure. If I'm a small person, yeah, I could do this, but depending on what I'm holding, I can also be here mm -hmm. and so on. But this exercise particular is designed for stay away, crash in, how can you run them over, can't move, deal with pressure, have a response to that. Mm -hmm. We're learning on both sides. Out of an empty hand perspective, I don't want to be here. Either I want to be closer mm -hmm. or stay away. If there's a lot of space, I can move and maybe leave in a safe way. If that's not an option, I need to get in. And mm -hmm. that's a timing thing. Right now, we're going to just be doing our first entry mm. here. And normally everything is a hit. Everything is a hit. Hit, hit, oh. hit, whatever that is. Right. Move out of the line of power, so you do 45 degrees. Away from yes, the Yes, because if this is an iron bar baseball bat, you yeah. don't want to deal with your forearm, because sure. they're going to break. So I'm not allowed to give you the weapon. That's uh, no no with Filipino martial arts. You have to disarm me. It's yeah. bad habits. Twist it out of my arm or ah, something. Okay. I will never ah. give away a weapon. So okay. you need to like disarm that. or throw it on the ground, and you can pick it up. Okay. So it's a one, two, and three. Right, mm. left, right. So you give me backhand now. So Thank now going to go in the other direction, but I'm still going to do right, left, right with my hands. So it's right, left, and mm. right. So I might take some power, but right. I don't want to have it here. Right. I prefer to get it here. And try to be on the hand as close as possible. Okay, so it's more like here. Boom. Yeah. And I attach it to my body? Yeah, it can be close to your body, but don't bring that leg forward. Okay. Because now I'm going to attack that. We have the inside, we have the outside. And in the perfect world, you have all the mm. time in the world and you can enter without being smacked. But mm. the low one. Oh That's a bummer. First time you go on the inside and you go right, left, right. And go. You go right, left, right. But if I'm staying here and swinging, you oh, don't yeah. want to go there. And you yeah. don't want to go in on that one either. Right. But you can go in on that one. So, so if I'm swinging, boom. you stay away. You move out. One, you move out. Two. Now you go on the other way. I That's it. Out. So you can't go in, but now you have to go in. Now you see me a little bit closer. So now you but, see ah, okay. that you can get in. Mm. So I'm essentially always Maybe I'm a little bit further away. So you don't even try. 
stay away yeah. and maybe I'm loading up. Mm. That's your moment of opportunity. Now right. we use this heavy cake exercise, but we put it in a more dynamic environment. Okay. So you have to measure if I'm loading up a lot, you mm. have a time to run in. If I'm a little bit more here, don't even think about it. But if I'm kind of trying to set you up and I'm loading up, charging up, right. yeah, that's your moment of opportunity. But normally, especially when you go to Philippines, you might stay here for a while. Like you mentioned Li like two hours warm up, right? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. And then you start to add some footwork to it. And now you prepare for the little bit more dynamic game mm -hmm. like we did with one stick each. And that could be stick only, but I also like to incorporate other things as well. So you don't mm -hmm. get too narrow minded that it's only the stick game. If I'm in good distance and you're swinging and I felt, okay, I can do that one. Yeah. Maybe I'm stealing it or, or doing something else here. Or maybe you're kind of a little bit more poking mm -hmm. with the first one, mm -hmm. going for my leg on the second one, and then you're charging up for a third one and maybe I mess up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I can do the mm -hmm. hammer fist like we did, or maybe I need that kick. Right. Or maybe I just mm -hmm. do another punch. Now I can incorporate mm -hmm. the punch. The stick is not a stick, but now it's a hammer fist. But mm -hmm. I have attitude of a stick right. or the kick. So mm -hmm. I can implement the stick fighting exercise in mm -hmm. my empty hand defense and right. mix it up. Quick announcement. If you'd like to see five different martial arts YouTubers compete against each other in various self-defense challenges, learn more about the Ultimate Self-Defense Championship by clicking the link in the description. Would you say that some Filipino martial arts schools, they do only form? Some people, instructors, clubs, groups, Groups prefer the form part and some people prefer the fighting part and I, I can't mm. say this is more right or, ah, or that. Some styles it's part of a Filipino culture because mm. there's a lot of dancing involved in, in some moves where it, yes it's, it's applications mm. in these moves but some people focus to have it like a form and it's very respected when it can make that look nice in Philippines. Yeah. But the same with non shakos and stuff yeah people are doing stuff and they're turning right. around and they're doing stuff behind their back. There are fighting applications in some of the moves right. but I prefer to swing mm -hmm. in front of you to smack you and, right. and be over here if you're competing you probably want to have mm -hmm. the force and focus to swing and smack over there if mm -hmm. you're more traditional yeah you might want to have a couple of moves where you do stuff like that which is part of the art and uh, there's nothing right or wrong i prefer the, the fighting approach a little right. bit more that's everybody's choice i like to think about philippine mm -hmm. martial arts is mm -hmm. that uh, you have a principle then you try to apply that mm -hmm. in uh, different settings as many situations as possible by doing a little bit of drilling it would be good, full sparring but it could mm -hmm be sparring games. There you learn when the drill or principle is valid. It's also experience when it's not valid and mm -hmm. what, how you can deal and do other stuff instead. You can talk about it all day long, but you right. need to gain your own experience. The problem with Aikido, my background, there was no experience of how does this really work? How does it work if you push me? How does it work if you pull me? It was more like, okay, this is always the exact way we do it and there's a right way and the wrong way. So I feel like that was a big hurdle. In the defense of Aikido, I met some guys who's very traditional, but I also met some guys who's actually more mm -hmm. actionable. It's actually teaching special forces. They understand what mm -hmm. you need to do to make it work, what kind of settings is not working. If you put it in the right context right. or understand how to put it in the context. Mm -hmm. It's not about the techniques as much as how you teach them and how you explore them. Yes, so it's always this discussion. What's most effective? What's mm -hmm. the best martial arts? Yeah, you can have the best martial arts in the world and you have a lousy coach and it doesn't matter. And you can have one of the kind of non-fighting martial arts. Right. And if you have a coach who mm -hmm. knows about that and also know about fighting, they can mm -hmm. make that work as well. But of course, some are more designed for mm -hmm. self-defense. Some are more designed for competition, mm. some are more for the art. You just have to be aware mm. where your focus and your desired outcome is. Right. If you want to see how Johan taught me the reality of knife defense, click on this video right here. Thanks for watching and keep owning your journey.